Hey everyone, this is PhD Natural Me, and today I am going to talk about RV departures, preparing to take your trip. We're getting ready to go on our trip here in less than two weeks, and I'm really excited about it. The RV departure checklist, I found several online. I'm just kind of pulling pieces together from some of the checklists, but whenever we depart, even if it's just to go get propane, we do an RV departure checklist. We make sure that we cover everything from the inside and the outside and anything that's attached. When I was a nursing instructor, I would tell my students, I would bring them in the room for uh, one minute or even 30 seconds and then I'd have them walk out and tell me, tell me what you saw. A lot of times they would forget the IV that was hooked up to on the patient, they didn't see a pain pump, they didn't see a bag, a urine bag called a bully, tubes, drains, anything that's attached to your RV has to be disconnected and put away. So I just wanted to go over that with you. Thank you so much for all my subscribers. I am so excited. I'm over 300, so thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start with talking about, I may be flipping inside and outside, but I hope I don't. Inside is my responsibility. I make sure that everything is put away on the inside. Now I'll peek at the list in just a second, but what I do, I actually go from one side of the RV back up to the front right here. So what I'm doing, I'm making sure that there's nothing on the counters, the seats are clear, the seat belts work, uh, the, ki the kitchen sink, I make sure everything is put away on the counter. I will use the sink to put things in, but I make sure it's secure. I check the stove, make sure that there's nothing in there as far as cooking anything. You usually would know that, but you check it anyway. Just check it. Check your microwaves. Um, we have the, the plate that's in there that typically doesn't move, but if, it, if you have an issue with that, you can wrap it with a towel and stick it back up in there. Just don't turn the microwave on. The refrigerator, you want to check the refrigerator to make sure things are evenly uh, in place in the refrigerator. And you can also use things like this, bars in the refrigerator and on your cabinets, up in the cabinets on the shelves. This will help to keep it, so if it does move, at least it won't go past these. Okay. I make sure everything is clear where the slide in is because you want your slide to come in evenly and not lean up against anything. You want to make sure that your walkway is clear wherever the when the slide comes in you still have that path to walk. Always think of safety first. Then I work my way back up toward the bathroom. I make sure that the shower curtain is pushed all the way open. I take everything off of the shelves that are in the shower. I put them away. I take everything off the sink. I put most of those items in a trash can and then I stick it in the the bathroom. What I do though, I stick it in the front so that it, uh, in the bathroom toward the wall that's facing toward the front. So if we do hit the brakes, at least the bucket is going to hit, lean against the wall and it's not going to go flying onto the floor. So you can kind of position things like that in your cabinets. You want to make sure you're kind of evenly distributed so that you're not heavy on one side and light on the other. Then I'm coming back. We have a TV that's secured to the wall, but I, you know, you check it, make sure nobody has like done anything, hit it. You want to check all everything that's on the counters. If you you have a table, we have a table here, and I can't show you this right now because it's it's in tornado mode because we are packing to go camping tomorrow. So I really should have done this checklist on, on video, but I'm going camping again, <laughs> RV and across country here in less than two weeks. So I'll show you then. So you make sure everything's clear on the counter. Your step, where you come into your RV, make sure that there's nothing cluttering the steps or even on the counter. Sometimes you just completely forget what is sitting around in your RV and you take off and you hear boom <laughs> things move around you'll hear it but you try to be as safe as you can okay 
make sure all the vents are closed the air conditioning is turned off the furnace is off the like oh I said the vents are closed I think that's about it that I can think of right now make sure all the drawers are latched closed if you have doors that may open a little bit maybe you want to hook hook it with a, a strap you can do that okay so gather up the trash dump your trash make sure the awnings are locked if it's a manual type if it's not then um, make sure it automatically comes in you want to this is roll up um, window shades and coverings and secure the cords we don't have any cords that are loose they just pull up and down so they can stay where they are you want to I said talked about closing the drawers checking the refrigerator secure the shower door bathroom pocket doors close the vents talk about that if you have an antenna for your TV that goes up you want to make sure that you put that down it says fill fresh water if needed my suggestion is always fill your fresh water tank we do the few times that we did not fill our fresh water tank what happened we needed water we went camping one time and the whole the campsite where we were their water wasn't working so many of the people left I actually talked about that in the video many of the people left but we were able to stay because we had water in our fresh tank so it says if needed I think it's, it was needed <laughs> uh, turn off the water pump you want to turn off the water heater gas in 110 you want to turn off the furnace LP only you want to check the floor you've brought in all the slides and sides now we're going outside you want to make sure that you disconnect your hoses you want to disconnect um, we typically disconnect electric last because that's usually what we need last you want to empty your black tank and then empty your gray tank because the water from the gray tank will flush the black tank okay you want to disconnect your sewer hose rinse them out and that helps with the rinse from the gray water but you can also rinse them out um, before you hook them up wear gloves um, <laughs> rinse and store those and then you add a gallon this this suggests to add a gallon of water and chemical to the black water tank we usually do we add something because you're driving around you get that slosh and get some of that poo that may be stuck in there off we are obsessed with cleaning our black tank some people will say oh that's crazy no I have had a smell once and that was because we were learning and did not know it filled up that quickly <laughs> no smell shut off your air conditioning before disconnecting the power always shut off before you disconnect uh, if you need to start your generator this is the time you can start it now and let it run for about a minute before turning on the air conditioning if you need to have the air conditioning on check the weight distribution okay my battery died so I had to get another one I'm not sure if I mentioned I believe I mentioned start the generator and let it run for at least a minute before you turn on your air conditioning. You also want to check the weight distribution in your RV. We try to even out the balance of things in the RV so that it's not heavy on one side versus the other. You want to check your fluid levels if you uh, want to take it to someone to do that. You can do it yourself. Um, check your um, engine fluid check your tire pressure you want to check for any suspicious leaks that you may see you also want to do the walk around outside and this is where I let my son come in and he he likes to check the lights to make sure the lights are going so you know left right flashers headlights reverse lights brake lights check all those lights um, make sure that you do a final walk around make sure all of your cabinets or the storage areas are secured and if they lock lock them 
all the hoses are up you want to make sure you disconnect your shore power saw someone almost pull off with the shore power still connected and just do your final walk around around the campsite make sure that you didn't leave any of the supplies that you came with like your grill um, your foil your cups your trash make sure it goes into the trash bin and look for anything that may shift or fall it's nice when you have more than one person so I am responsible for the inside so when I go out since I normally don't do that I just look okay I'm looking to see if everything is locked I'm, I'm looking at what my husband does and then he comes in and he looks to see what I've done because sometimes you just you miss things because it's just been sitting there for so long that's not good check your mirrors check for your blind spot make sure that you do that that's so important it's unbelievably important uh, check your it says your dash gauges for proper operation before moving the coach make sure that you take your brock your parking brake off if you have um, the electric jacks you want to lift those up make sure that your I can't think of what it's called right now those yeah your jacks make sure that they come up and then you take your brake off and then you're ready to hit the road if your unit your RV your fifth wheel whatever you're driving has mud or is your tail lights are dirty or anything like that or your headlights clean them off make sure that you can be seen if your headlights are supposed to be on or you hit the brakes so I can see them and it's not dingy so that's it just wanted to share that with you I hope that helps and if you have any questions put them down so how do you do your RV departure checklist I'd love to know stay healthy drive safe bye